Remember my cowboy coffee pot? <clears throat> We're going to fix it tonight to turn it back into a perk pot. Stick around till after the intro. Well, good evening. Tonight, we're going to have a further discussion about this, my coffee pot. And, well, last time we discussed my coffee pot, I told you that the weak spot will always be the foot and riser pipe. The foot and the riser pipe. They're supposed to be connected kind of like this. Now, I've spent some time trying to re-mold the metal here, where the riser pipe is supposed to come up through. And as a result, I can almost get this to stand straight, but it doesn't stay like it's supposed to. And that means it's never going to allow this to perk the way it should, as it is. We're going to see if we can't give this a little further life tonight. That's why... I broke out the high temp, JB Weld. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, first thing we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is get this back in position. There. Notice the witness marks. I've got them lined up. But you notice how this thing still flops around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some JB Weld here, and here, right along the joint. And then for extra support, I'm going to bring in this special little washer I've got. It's got this, you know, let me see if I can hold it up close enough so maybe you can get a glimpse of it. I hope that's showing up proper on the camera. It kind of sticks out like a, how do I put this? It's almost like the bottom half of a grommet. There you go kind of flares in like a bottom half of a grommet. And the thing is, that opening is a perfect match to the bottom. So when I glue that in place, that should make this a solid repair. And hopefully that'll give this a little more life. Now here's the thing. I mentioned that this is going to be the weak spot in any of these type percolator pots with the big flat foot on the bottom. Now they make an electric perk pot with a stainless steel riser pipe where the actual foot is more like a cup and it's welded to the riser pipe. Those prove to be a little bit stronger and usually the pot's electrical element burns out before the foot gives way. <coughs> but when you have this design that joint right there will always be the weak spot. Now, I personally have only dealt with in person, as far as my own coffee pot, one of these that was stainless steel. A little warm in my kitchen tonight. Well, let's get down to business here, huh? First things first, I gotta bust out the epoxy. do this without damaging the tubes. So, I'll just resort to a little bit of minor brute force. on the wall and put my tubes in it. Hmm. 
Okay, this two part black and white making gray. Uh, strength is 3960 PSI, set time 4 to 6 hours, cure time 15 to 24 hours. Cure color, dark gray. Well, that won't be so bad with aluminum. Household repairs, automotive, plumbing, marine, craft, and more. Well, since it says marine, and since it says plumbing, well, then it should work okay. Uh, metal, wood, plastic, tile, PVC, ceramic, fiberglass, concrete, and more. Good stuff, ain't it? This JB Weld. Well, well, well. Yes, yeah, very deep subject. I'm going to have to put this on hold and come back in a minute. Oh, how do you like my Sunday go to meeting best? Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> I wore one of my beater shirts. That way if I do get a little epoxy on it, it won't matter. Okay. Now then. I want to make my witness mark here on the bottom just a hair bigger. To make it easier to see. When I start getting in there gooping with the glue. Now then, let me tilt you down so you can actually see what I'm doing. And yes, I realize it's a little dark in here. I've got the best light I can get on the subject. You know what? Let me turn that. Yeah, never mind. That light behind you ain't going to do you any good to see this any better. Yes, I'm using a stereo plate that way it's uh, disposable. That should be enough of the black. And as I understand it, we want equal parts of the white. gray, whatever. That looks like it's close. There's that. Now then. And that's dark gray. This has longer open time as glue goes than the clear, which is going to be a problem for getting this to stay put. So therefore I brought some tools to help that along with some magnets and a piece of steel and another some more magnets. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to goop right around here. There. Now then.
there's my mark, there's my witness mark right there. I think. Yep, there's my witness mark. Now I gotta pull this down. There. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in back in here. Wait a minute, let me get lined up. There's my witness marks. There we go. Bother, bother, bother. Hmm. There we go. Now I'm going to take my little washer, dude, and I'm going to hold it like that with my magnet, my little magnet, trying not to get goop on my fingers, because I just don't like having my fingers all gooped up. idea didn't go over so big. Mm. Still going to end up with the goop on my fingers. Come around the outside here. And lay a bead on top. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my camera had shut off. You'll have to forgive me for being a little quiet. It is, after all, 0.30 early. And the spouse and the kid are sleeping. But, at this point, I can put the final touches to this video since Uncle Arthur woke me up about an hour ago my glue is now dry to the touch and look at this I've got a perfectly vertical riser pipe ain't that sweet well, almost perfectly vertical close enough yeah. Now all I gotta do is get the basket and lid for the basket out of the truck and find the lid the proper lid for my coffee pot and we'll have her back in service. Remember, this coffee pot went bouncing up and down the highway with me for oh my god, uh the last twenty years in the truck. And people say I'm hard on my gear. <laughs> for a cheap aluminum coffee pot to last that long. <laughs> I must have been doing something right. <laughs> Peace out. By the way, don't forget to